Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to learn types of software testing. In the previous tutorial, I have explained about the levels of testing. So there are four levels of testing and we have also understood about those four levels of testing in detail. Now, when we talk about types of testing, it is different from the level. So when somebody asks you the question about the levels of testing, then you have four levels of testing as we have discussed in the previous tutorials. And when somebody say ask the question about types of testing, there are so many types of testing, right? So any type of or any testing that you do within the software testing project can be categorized as type of testing. And if you try to browse around and try to search on Google, you'll find hundreds, you know, almost hundred, you know, types of testing, different types of testing. Um, so let us first understand the broader category of the type of testing so if you see on my board here uh, i have categorized so in in the broader sense the types of testing can be categorized either into the functional or non-functional category and that is why i have categorized these uh, you know types of testing into functional and non-functional category and in the functional category there are some, some testing types that i have uh, noted down here and similarly in the non-functional category i have noted down some of the categories uh, some of the testing types now if we talk about the types of testing so these are not the only type of testing that are available out there if you go ahead and search uh, google you'll find the types of testing and mostly you can categorize those testing that you will find into either functional or non-functional category right so when we talk about the type of testing it is any any testing that you that you'll perform okay and when we say functional testing, it is basically the testing of the functionality of a particular software, right? So when whenever a customer um, provides you the requirement, they will basically provide the functional requirements. So for example, again, taking the e-commerce website, customer will provide the requirements. So for example, I want to have the registration functionality, right? So that's the functionality that needs to be built into the the e-commerce website so registration functionality will be one so if i say registration so that's one of the functionality right and then say for example uh, you know the other functionality is add items right add items to cart right so these these are same examples that i'm taking from the previous tutorials then um, check out all right so another functionality or cancel order user should be having a functionality to cancel the order okay so these are some of the functionalities or functional requirement that might be uh, available or might be required for an e-commerce website if a customer wants to build an e-commerce website now when we talk about the non-functional requirement or the non-functional testing the non-functional testing test the non-functional aspects say for example how the performance is now when we talk about registration so in terms of registration you will launch the e-commerce portal and you will click on the register button right so if, if, say for example you have the e-commerce web page and here you will have a link for the login and registration that's what, how usually you see the e-commerce website you will click on the registration link and it will open the registration page right now on the registration page you will have the name uh, you know you can uh, first name last name email and then other details if if they are required and then you'll click on register button and it should register you successfully so this is the functional testing that you will do right so this is the functional testing so op opening the browser and then providing all the details and clicking on the register button will register you in the e-commerce website okay now, when we talk about non-functional aspect of this registration, say, for example, I'm trying to register and once I provide all the details and click on registration, a register button, if the response or the registration takes 30 seconds to, to register and redirect me to the dashboard, that's not a good response, right? So because uh, when, when I provide all the details and click on register button, it is taking a lot of time. Now, when you are testing that aspect or basically the time aspect or how the website is performing when a user registers, that 
testing is the non-functional testing, right? When you are testing the response time. And there are many types of non-functional testing, which we'll discuss briefly in this particular tutorial. So this is the case with the registration. So when you are actually registering and just verifying that registration is successful without worrying about how much time or the response time you it, it took uh, when the user clicked on register button and he actually got redirected to the um, you know dashboard page. So you are not worried about the response time in the functional testing. But in the non-functional testing, what you will do is you will execute this script and you will also you will just look for the response so once the user clicks on the register button you will capture the response time it takes to redirect to the user to the dashboard page so that is the non-functional aspect of this particular requirement and this is the difference between the functional and non-functional testing now when we say types of other types of testing so now these are the testing types that are the functional testing so if if i talk about the unit testing which is also a one of the test levels so that is also a type of testing right unit integration system and acceptance testing these are all test levels along with the testing types as well right so you can categorize these as testing types as well then you would have heard a lot about the regression testing so i'll cover this in a complete separate tutorial what exactly regression testing is and how you need to do regression testing then sanity testing smoke testing or usability testing so all these testing types in the left hand side below functional testing column are the functional testing. That is, what does it mean? That these type of testing will verify the functional aspect as we have understood in this registration case. A tester will launch a particular application, he'll follow certain steps and he'll verify that the functionality is working fine. Right. So for example, if I take uh, an app example, WhatsApp, say for example, the functionality of the WhatsApp is if I want to change my profile picture, I should click on change, select the new profile pic and then save it, right? I should be able to save a new profile pic successfully. This is the functionality. Non-functional aspect of the same is if I click on, uh, if I select the new profile pic and click on save, it should respond, you know, within, a, you know, uh, say for example within one second or within two seconds so that's the when when you are checking the time frame that it takes to perform certain transaction that is the non-functional testing now when we talk about the non-functional testing some types of testing in the non-functional testing are performance testing and below performance testing or below this performance testing umbrella you can say you have load testing stress volume scalability all these are part of the performance testing right so these are different types of non-functional testing in software testing. Then you have the recovery testing or compatibility security testing, right? So security testing is very, very important for the software. So to, to basically save your software from being hacked or, you know, stopping the hackers to stole the user data from the software that you are launching or the website that you are launching, right? So these are some of the functional and non-functional testing and types of testing that I have, um, you know, uh, mentioned here. If you go ahead and Google about the, uh, the types of testing, you will get a lot more types of testing that, that you can categorize within the functional and non-functional testing. And then you will have the complete list of the testing, which will help you to understand what all types of testing are there and what exactly they you know um, the, what exactly you do within those type of testing now the most important types of testing i'll be covering say for example you know i have already covered unit integration system acceptance i'll be covering the very commonly types of testing that are used in the actual projects so don't worry about them a lot because most of it will be covered but there in in terms of you know like interview aspect you might be asked some you know uh, type of testing which you might not have heard before so it's better to google all the type of testing and get a list of those testing and understand those testing details but most of the time those type of testing are just required for the interview they are not very commonly spoken or used into the software testing project right so whatever is required for a software testing project or being very you know widely used um, in terms of testing types i'll be covering as part of this series so that's pretty much all about the types of software testing. 
that's all for this tutorial please do share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching